So far, the EU and US response to Israeli genocide has been straight from the abuser's handbook, Darvo. Deny, attack, reverse victim and offender. And if that doesn't work, you just change the subject. So as the genocide in Gaza continues, you want to talk about everything but Gaza. You refuse to put the item on an agenda, an agenda stacked with every cliche imaginable from Venezuela to Iran with pride of place given to the old reliable Russian interference. So across Please the pond, Clarice. Special Agent Nancy Pelosi gives the signal branding Palestine protesters as Kremlin operatives and like clockwork, the dark insinuations begin in Europe. Everyone can see what you're doing. It's tedious, it's predictable. You've been doing it since 2016 to the and it isn't going to work anymore. The mass movement is focused like a laser on genocide. Everyone knows it's happening and Europe is... The silence about the genocide in Gaza is deafening. The latest European Council conclusions don't even mention the words Gaza, Israel or Palestine. No debate on Gaza in this week's plenary. 100,000 casualties in four months. 1.8 million displaced, food insecure, ethnically cleansed and now starving. Over 11,000 children killed by the Israeli regime. The UN's highest court has ruled that the Palestinians in Gaza are at risk of genocide and we don't want to talk about it in here. People all across the world have taken to the streets demanding a ceasefire, but the EU stands with the Zionist settler colonial project. Are you censoring discussion? on genocide because you are complicit in it? The EU is dripping with hypocrisy and it is dripping with the blood of Palestinian children.